Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from the Commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the 23rd anniversary of the National Guard. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his directives and support to the National Guard, which continue to defend the Kingdom's security and stability. He wished His Majesty continued health and happiness, and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable hailing the pivotal role of the National Guard, which serves along with the BDF and the public security in defending Bahrain and protecting its landmark achievements. His Majesty expressed pride in the level and standard of the National Guard's units under the command of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable from the Commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the 23rd anniversary of the National Guard. His Highness wished His Royal Highness of Prime Minister continued health and happiness and Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable to the Commander of the National Guard in which he expressed pride in the National Guard's efforts, wishing them success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable from the National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa marking the 23rd anniversary of the National Guard. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's continuous support which had a significant effect on the development of the National Guard. He wished His Royal Highness continued health and happiness and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a reply cable commanding the pivotal role and advanced level of the National Guard hailing the combat readiness of its affiliates. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Council of Representatives Speaker Fazi Yazainan, the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh and the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry Amir Nas at His Royal Highness's Majlis in Dhabiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continued cooperation and coordination between the executive and legislative authorities in order to meet the aspirations of Bahraini citizens and strengthen the kingdom's developments. He affirmed the kingdom's dedication efforts to enhance its security and preserve the nation's prosperity and achievements across many fields, which have been accomplished through the solidarity and efforts of Bahraini people under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness then praised Bahrain's cooperation with its international allies and safeguarding regional security and stability and stressed the importance of taking all necessary steps to avoid violence and destruction whilst affirming the Kingdom's firm stance against all forms of terrorism and extremism. He underlined the importance of meeting the aspirations of Bahraini citizens who remain at the core of the government's development efforts. In this regard, His Royal Highness instructed the allocation of 5,000 housing units to citizens across all the Kingdom's governorates. His Royal Highness called the attention to the importance of upholding the Kingdom's values around community and solidarity, as well as the principles of coexistence and pluralism which are represented of Bahraini society. He praised the positive economic results achieved by the Kingdom as shown in the Bahrain Economic Quarterly Report for the third quarter of 2019. This report indicates positive economic growth in comparison to the same period of 2018 his Royal Highness stressed the importance of continuing to diversify the economy and introduce initiatives that stimulate economic growth within the framework of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. His Royal Highness noted the success of the National Employment Program, which has benefited over 9,000 9, job seekers since its launch in February 2019. Zain al Saleh and Nas expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his support of enhanced cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. The meeting was also attended by Deputy Prime Ministers His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak al Khalifa, Jawad bin Salim al Arayyad, and Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah al Khalifa, as well as a number of senior officials and members of their representatives and Shura councils.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. Following the meeting, the cabinet secretary general, Dr. Yasser al Nasser, made the following statement. In light of the rapid repercussions and dangerous developments in the region, the cabinet called on de-escalating the tensions by containing the situation and increasing efforts towards maintaining security and stability in the region and avoiding violence and destruction. It stressed the importance of urgent action by the international community to take measures and maintain regional security and stability. His Royal Highness was reassured on the precautionary and preventive measures taken by the ministries and government bodies as well as its capabilities and readiness to provide services to citizens in various circumstances and challenges. The cabinet denounced Turkey's decision to send military forces to Libya for the interference it represents in the affairs of an Arab country. The cabinet hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Finance and National Economy to continue the kingdom's econ economic growth as Bahrain witnessed a positive increase in the third quarter of 2019 compared to the same period in 2018. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince directed all ministries and government bodies to study the implementation of the 12 ideas that qualified in FICAR competition. The cabinet stressed the importance of enhancing creativity and innovation in order to develop the quality of government performance. The cabinet approved a memorandum on creating renewable energy certificates and creating a system for them. It delegated the president of the Sustainable Energy Authority to work in this regard in order to enhance the kingdom's status on the global level. The cabinet discussed a draft law on media and press and discussed a number of proposals for further amendments. The cabinet approved amending the model regulation for clubs which are supervised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. This will exempt people who have represented national teams and clubs in international forums under the co condition of obtaining the recommendation of two members of the club they are joining. The cabinet discussed a memorandum by the Minister of Education regarding the march of education in the kingdom and referred it to the concerned committee. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs a draft resolution specifying registration fees in the broker's schedule and fees for renewing registration, which was submitted by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments. The Cabinet approved an MOU for cooperation between Bahrain, represented by the National Space Science Authority, and the Japanese Space Exploration Agency, which was submitted by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications. The MOU aims to exchange experiences in supporting national capacity building efforts and developing the capabilities of the National Space Agency. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the Cabinet's decision to change the regulations of the basic law of national clubs, which reflects the keenness to develop them by leadership as represented by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The change will exempt club members that are involved in the national team from being nominated by their respective clubs, which will reflect positively on the performance of the clubs as well as the national team. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his support of the sports scene and said that the Cabinet's approval of this change reflects the keenness of His Royal Highness on creating a competitive environment which will bring about further athletic achievements. He said that the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports continues to improving the rules and regulations that govern athletic institutions as part of its efforts to reform Bahraini sports and to help Bahrainis in becoming successful professional athletes in its golden age. His Highness expressed hope that the Cabinet's decision will encourage more Bahrainis to seek memberships with their local clubs and participate in the development of Bahraini sports. The Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 1 of 2020 regarding reforming the High Committee and appointing Sheikh Nayef bin Khalib bin Ahmed Al Khalifa as member. 
The Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Commission for Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the club's Supreme Commission meeting where he was briefed on all the development plans and programs that the club will implement in the next period. He noted the importance of intensifying efforts for the optimal implementation of all the club's plans. His Highness affirmed the importance of continuing to update and develop equestrian and horse racing sports through implementing initiatives, plans and programs that raise the kingdom's status regionally and internationally. He noted the support, the support he receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which resulted in achieving further development for the sport at all levels. His Highness noted the club's keenness on achieving goals that contribute to the sport's growth. The Chief Executive Officer of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, gave a presentation on the workhorse of the club's various programs and future plans. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman hailed the efforts of Sheikh Salman bin Rashid, which will contribute to achieving the desired goals. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain condemned the terrorist attack that took place in Lama, Kenya, targeting a military base used by American and Kenyan troops. The ministry expressed sincere condolences to the families of the victims and wished the injured a speedy recovery. The ministry reiterated the kingdom's rejection of all forms of terrorism, calling for concerted international efforts to end terrorism and its financing.